Hey everybody, it's the team from Financial Market Wizards and today we are back with another video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, Fibonacci retracements because uh, most beginner traders use it wrongly, right? They just simply uh, use the Fibonacci retracement in every market condition. Okay, so that's not the right way to do it. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you the mistake that most of uh, the new traders are making and also how to avoid them. Okay, so uh, we started this channel to help you avoid some of the mistakes and pitfalls that uh, most beginner traders make. Okay, so our goal in this channel is not just to uh, maximize your profits, but also to reduce uh, your losses, right? We try to impart our knowledge to you, our experience, and hopefully that will help you uh, become a profitable trader and help to shorten your learning curve. Okay, so uh, as mentioned, today's video, let's talk about Fibonacci retracements. Okay, so if you do not know what Fibonacci retracement, okay, I have just put out uh, this Fibonacci retracement tool uh, on the platform TradingView. Okay, this is a free platform that uh, you can check out. Okay, so if you do not know what the Fibonacci retracement, it's basically just uh, levels. Okay, these are mathematical levels 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, and 0 0.786. Okay, so ideally what happens when you use the uh, Fibonacci retracement is that um, you are actually trying to catch the retracement. Okay, let me just show you an example over here. Okay, so in the ideal case, um, you have a up movement, an impulsive up move, and um, you are trying to uh, predict um, where will price stop. So this is how you traditionally use uh, Fibonacci. Okay, so uh, most of the time, uh, I will recommend you to pay attention to 0 0.618, which is uh, otherwise known as the golden ratio, or the 0 0.786, okay, or this one over here. Okay, so ideally, uh, this Fibonacci retracement tool is used to um, find potential support. Okay, if you are buying, then uh, you want to look for a good price level to buy, okay, and uh, you buy it up. Okay, so it seems rather simple, okay, and uh, I think if you watch other videos, you know, about how to use Fibonacci retracements, uh, they'll tell you that, okay, you can use the different levels, okay, but here's the issue, okay, the issue is that I see a lot of uh, new traders, what they do is, you know, they just take the tool and they just draw it everywhere, you know, they just draw it here, you know, they draw it here, you know, and what happens is that your, your chart is so messy because you, you, you do not draw it properly, you do not draw it correctly, okay? So before you even use a Fibonacci retracement, the first thing that you must understand is that uh, you must identify what is the market condition, okay? So even before you pull out your Fibonacci retracement tool, okay, you can pull it out by clicking here and go under Fibonacci retracements. Okay, even before you do this, you want to open a clean chart like this, and you want to ask yourself, right? You want to ask yourself, uh, what is the market condition right now, okay? So if let's say we were to just uh, focus on this area, let's just say that, you know, uh, you're currently trading this area right now, okay? So what's the market condition, okay? So what you probably will do is you just look at this chart, you say, okay, this is a swing high, this is a swing low, this is a high, this is a low, this is a higher high, okay? So what's your conclusion? Your conclusion is that this is in a uptrend. Okay, and in an uptrend, you want to be buying a support selling resistance. Okay, but what happens in this region over here? Okay, if you look at this region here, you notice that price is ranging. Okay, so what a lot of new you know traders do or struggling traders do is they just draw it like this, you know. Okay, and what's the problem with drawing a uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, into an area of consolidation? Okay, so early on I said that this area is an area of consolidation. Okay, so what do you do when you're trading consolidation, right? Range trading, let me just write it down for you. When you're doing range trading, you're actually supposed to buy low, sell high, okay? Very simple. But, so why would you draw a Fibonacci and, you know, retracement tool and try to buy it at 0 0.618 or 0.786 when, you know, your range, uh, ideally, you want to buy at the uh, swing point, which is this low or this high. Right, it doesn't make sense for you to be drawing uh, the Fibonacci tool. Okay, so this is a very common mistake. A lot of traders, they just draw this uh, Fibonacci retracement tool, not understanding that, okay, 
you know, we are in a range bound. So my job in a range bound market is just to buy low to sell high, right? I shouldn't even be using uh, this Fibonacci retracement tool, right? If you look at the name of it, right, it's called Fibonacci retracement, okay? So what is retracement? Retracement means that price has went one direction, okay? Let me just show it for you. Price has went one direction and then price retrace, okay? But if price is in consolidation, right then technically there is no retracement okay you are not doing a retracement trade you are just doing a range bound trade and the, in this case you shouldn't even be using the fibonacci retracement tool okay so this is a very common mistake people who do not understand market context they don't understand how to identify uh, the market structure and they just use the tools uh, blindly okay you do not want to do that okay you want to use a uh, you want to analyze the market condition first, then you use the right tools to you know, um, navigate the market. Okay, think of it like this way. Think of it like a surgeon. First, he diagnoses uh, what is the uh, issue. Let's say he's doing a surgery. Uh, the first thing he has to do is that he has to um, find out what needs to be done. Right? He needs to find out what's the condition of the patient first, and then he uses the right tools to get the job done. Okay? He do not use the tools before he diagnose you know, what needs to be done. Okay, so in this case, it's the same. Uh, do not just use the tools and, you know, um, draw it all over. You know, start um, drawing, you know, here. Then, you know, you have another one here. And then, you know, you draw it until you can't even identify uh, what the indicator is trying to tell you. Okay, so that's not the way to use it. Okay, so now before I end off this video, this is a short video. Uh, maybe I want to show you a good example. Okay, because just now I show you... Um, you know, a kind of like bad example. Now let's talk about a good example, okay? So let's look at uh, the weekly chart for gold, okay? So uh, let's look at uh, this area here, okay? So let's say uh, you are analyzing this chart, okay? And you watch this video and you understand that the first thing you want to look at is market condition. So you ask yourself, uh, what market condition are we in, okay? So this should be rather straightforward. You have a up, right? You have a down, you have another up. Okay, so you have a high, you have a low, you have a higher high. Okay, so you are in a clear uptrend. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to be buying at support. Okay, and if you look over here, price is not really consolidating, it's actually pulling back down. Okay, so your job is to predict a good level. Okay, so what you can do is you pull the Fibonacci tool, right? You take this uh, swing low here and just bring it up. Okay, let me just clear this so that uh, you can see it clearer. Okay, you pull it up. Okay, if you have struck, have issues, you know, finding out this swing low, like you, you do not know that this is swing low, always switch to the line chart, right? It will show you very clearly that this is a swing low. Okay, change it back to the candlestick pattern. And uh, you can see over here that price stop over here. Okay, so this is how you use Fibonacci, right? You use Fibonacci in a trend. Okay, it can be an uptrend, it can be a downtrend, but you do not use Fibonacci in tight consolidation areas such as, you know, this entire zone here because it just doesn't make sense, okay? Your job in this kind of scenario is just to buy at a zero, sorry, to sell at zero and buy at one. That's, that's simple because it's just a range play. There is no need to calculate the uh, Fibonacci levels within a trading zone, a, you know, a ranging condition, right? Because it just makes no sense, okay? So please do not make this mistake. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'll do my best to address it. Okay, if you struggle with identifying market conditions, uh, our free day training guide do teach you that. Okay, it's free. The link's in the description. So make sure you check that out as well. Okay, uh, it doesn't just teach you how to identify market condition, but I also show you uh, how to read candlestick patterns and how to apply candlestick patterns into your uh, trading. Okay, so please uh, watch this video again if you, you don't really understand the concept, but please do not go around just taking a, you know, a tool like this, like, uh, like a Fibonacci retracement and start drawing it everywhere and start trading off, okay? Trading is more complicated than that. You need to identify the uh, market condition, then you use the tools to help you identify the trade setup, okay? So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.